Tonight, a community is coming together to help a family in a similar situation. Chris, a beloved special education teacher, lost everything when her house burned down. But right now, her colleagues and her students are giving back. Bob Jones is live on 5 inside Ellen High School tonight, where a special event is just wrapping up. Well, staff members here at Allen High School felt like they had to do something to help Amy Coleman, her husband, and her four children. So they hosted this shower this afternoon inside the school's library. And take a look over here. People brought everything. We see blankets, someone brought a crock pot, and a basket full of household items. And folks also delivered a lot of hope to a family dealing with much despair. We've got to build on top of that to figure out the volume. A veteran of the Navy and a special education teacher for 15 years, Amy Coleman knows how to handle challenging days. So now we have to find out what's important. But nothing could prepare her for the phone call she got last week from her husband. He was home with their sick daughter and their house in Rootstown was on fire. Thankfully, everyone made it out safely. The fire chief told us that it was a matter of minutes. So um, just the fact that I still have her and my husband um, that in itself is, is the biggest gift from God ever. But the devastating fire that apparently started in a wood burning stove caused them to lose everything. Fellow teachers quickly came to her aid, organizing a shower for the couple and their four children, giving them clothing, comforters, cleaning supplies. They even set up a registry for gifts. She's a wonderful teacher, she's a wonderful friend. Kristen Demacus spread the word on Facebook, and now people from outside of the school are donating. It's been very emotional for Amy, too. It's just overwhelming. The community and everybody here, it's just been. It's blown us away. And the students are chipping in too, collecting as much cash as they can for the Coleman's in a jar. Uh, everyone's been trying their hardest to like at least donate anything, you know, uh, coins, gift cards, like actual dollar bills. While Amy is just starting to rebuild her life, she feels overwhelmed by all of the generosity and support. It's a bump in the road. It's a bump in the road and we are absolutely beyond blessed to have enough people to carry us over it. And the Coleman family is very touched by today's shower, which is wrapping up right now. Portage Community Bank is accepting donations for the family. If you'd like to help out, contributions to the Coleman, Coleman Family Benefit Fund, that is, can be made at branches in Ravenna or Kent. Live on 5 in Akron tonight, I'm Bob Jones.